Hi everyone. This video, uh, we're quickly going to talk about parallel and perpendicular lines. Um, if you remember the, the meaning of parallel lines, it just means two lines that are going in exactly the same direction. There's my attempt at drawing two parallel lines. And in fact, there's symbolism too. Like if they're parallel, sometimes people or math textbooks will write them kind of like that with kind of this almost like an arrowhead showing that they're going in the same direction. And perpendicular, the symbol for perpendicular looks like this. If, they, if you were to write this, the two lines are perpendicular in math. You could just write this symbol right here. Um, however, wow, it looks like a face. Um, but anyway, perpendicular means that just two lines are cutting each other at an angle of 90 degrees. Okay, so this angle right here is 90 degrees, and that's what a perpendicular line is. Okay, now what do we know about parallel lines? Well, if we had an equation, and hopefully you've seen the videos I already have on um, the slope, the slope intercept form, and how to graph using this, because those are really good things to know before looking at this. Let's say we had a slope of 3x plus 2. So we, the slope is 3 and the y-intercept is 2. If we were to graph this, and I'll do it in blue, not to rhyme, but remember you always start with the y-intercept when you're graphing one of these really quickly, and then the slope is 3, which really means 3 over 1. Okay, so that means the rise is 3, 1, 2, 3, and the, the run is 1, and there we go. Now, if we were to and again, hopefully you've seen the videos I have on the slope-intercept form, how to graph quickly using the slope-intercept form, so that this part isn't confusing. If we had another equation, uh, again, 3x minus 4. If we were to graph this really quickly, well, we would start at the negative 4. There's our y-intercept, and the slope is 3 again. It's the exact same slope as this one, 1, 2, 3, and 1 just like the last one. If we were to connect these, we would notice that these two lines are parallel. Okay, So if you see the same slope, which is the coefficient or the number in front of x, okay, if you see that this number and this number are the same, then you know that those lines are parallel. Okay, So if you see y equals 1 half x minus 5, and another one down here that says y equals 1 half x plus 3, then just by looking at the slope, you know that the lines are parallel. Okay, let's talk about perpendicular lines now. Um, let's start by just graphing these, all four of these, very quickly, and we'll see which ones are perpendicular. Remember, perpendicular means they're cutting through at a 90 degree angle. Let's start with the first one here, 3x plus 1. Okay, you start by putting a point at the 1 on the y-intercept. The slope is 3, just like on the first page that we just finished doing. 1, 2, 3, and 1. Okay, I don't have a ruler here. I'm just drawing it freehand, but there is, there is A. Okay, now let's do B. 2, the y-intercept is 2 and the slope is negative 2. So the y-intercept is 2. Let's do this one in red. Okay, so B, we're going to do this one in red. And the first one we did in blue. We'll just use color coding here. We start here, and the slope here is negative, and it's negative 2, which means we go down 2, but you always go across 1 if there's nothing showing here, if there's no fraction then remember, there's always an invisible 1. So down 2 and across 1. Now, you can see these two are definitely not perpendicular. They're not perpendicular, nor are they parallel. So let's keep going. Uh, let's do this one in green. Let's do this one in green, OK? So look up at the 6. And the slope, let's go down 1 and across 3 because it's 1 third. But because it's negative 1 third, we're going to go down 1. So the rise is negative 1 and the run is 3. 1, 2, 3. Does this look parallel or perpendicular? Well, just 
by eyeballing this, I would say that this line and this line sure do look as though this is 90 degrees. But we'll save that until we're done this last one, D. So D, we start at negative 1, and the slope is 1 half, which means you go up 1 and across 2. Okay? And there I drew my line. Now we've drawn all four. We have graphed all four lines. Um, I don't see any parallel here. However, I do see two that seem perpendicular. These two look perpendicular. So the red and the, I don't know what you'd call this color, the peach. The red and the peach, they look perpendicular. Okay, so these two look perpendicular. And these two, they look perpendicular. And here's the important part we have to figure out. What's so special? Look at the slope of this one and this one. So A and C, let's look at the slope. The one, this is the slope of A, and the slope of C is negative one-third. Interesting. Now let's look at the two slopes for B and D because they look perpendicular as well. I'm going to write them down. Okay, negative two, and the slope over here is one-half. Do you notice something? Well, if you didn't notice it, I'm going to say it out loud. The way to find out if a line is perpendicular to another line without graphing, with just, just by looking, first of all, what you do is you take something called the negative reciprocal, which means look at one of the slopes, so the 3, for example, and what you do, the negative reciprocal means you change the sign. So if it's positive, make it negative. Or if it's negative, make it positive. So yes, this one's negative. And then reciprocal means flip this, flip the 3. Now remember, 3 is really a 3 over 1. And if you were to flip this, you would end up with 1 over 3, just like this. And if you have a negative reciprocal, then these two slopes are perpendicular, and there's our symbol for perpendicular. Okay, let's look down here to see if these two work according to that little rule. Well, let's put a 1 underneath the 2 here. Negative 2 over 1. Well, first of all, the negative reciprocal means you change the sign to the opposite of what it is now, so negative would become positive, and if you were to flip it, if you were to flip these two, you would get 1 over 2, and that's exactly what happened here. So these two are also perpendicular. Okay, so we now know that a perpendicular uh, slope is, gonna, is going to be a negative reciprocal. I don't know if I should write that word. I'll just write it right here in case you want it spelled. It's called a negative reciprocal. <laughs> okay. So if I gave you a 5, the negative reciprocal of that would be negative 1 fifth. If I gave you a negative 2 thirds, you, if you were to give me the negative reciprocal, you would flip it and change the sign, it would be 3 over 2. Okay, so it, it's not so bad. Let's try these questions here. It says, write each equation in slope-intercept form what that means, slope-intercept form, is y equals mx plus b. So we're going to get y all by itself. And again, I have videos on how to do that, okay? So I may be going quickly through here, just for the sake of speed. But if you want to see it in detail, how do you do what I'm doing with more explanation, make sure you watch those videos as well, okay? Um, let's start. Let's take the first one here. and. So let's take A, and what we're going to do is get Y all by itself, and I'm going to go quickly. <clears throat> so, negative 6Y is equal to, the reason why I put the equal sign is, I'm moving the 3X over to the other side, and I'm also moving the 7 over to the other side. When you move something over like that, you change the sign, okay? So it's going to be negative 3X, and then this 7 is going to be a negative 7, all right? The way to get the negative 6 out of there is to divide everything by negative 6. Okay, you divide everything by negative 6. So you should get, that'll cancel, or that'll, that'll become 1 there, which is just, an invisible 1 is really just 
a y there. So negative 3 and negative 6. If you were to divide those two, you would get a positive 3 over 6 is the same thing as 1 half. I just reduced it. And the minus 7 over, sorry, it's a negative 7 and a negative 6, so it's positive 7 over 6. And I'm going to leave it like that. Because in, in this question, all we're really looking for is which equations are perpendicular. So I'm really most concerned with what is the slope of each one. So let's do b really quickly. Um, I'm going to get y all by itself. And I'm going to do this very fast, people. y equals negative 2x minus 16. OK, so that's b. Um, c, negative 6y is equal to negative 9x minus 12. Divide everything by negative 6 negative 6 and negative 9, so 9 over 6. If we uh, simplified that, we could divide each of those by 3. So we would get 3 over 2 x, um, and then 12 divided by 6 would give us positive, it's, they're two negatives, so 2. And that isn't as important here because we're just concerned with the slope. And the last one is d, so let's uh, Let's see if we can fit it in there. 6y is equal to, sorry, this is going to look messy, 4x plus 8. For the sake of squeezing this in, divide everything by 6. Well, this isn't a pretty answer, but anyway, it's going to be negative. 4 over 6, let's reduce that. So that'd be 2 over 3. x. And 6 divided by 8, sorry, 8 divided by 6, if we cut them both in half, we'd have positive 4 over 3. OK, so which one of these are perpendicular? The trick is, look for two equations here that are negative reciprocals of each other. OK, well, I see that 1 half and negative 2 are negative reciprocals of each other. So a and b, a is perpendicular to b. What about c and d? 3 over 2 and negative 2 over 3. Sure enough, these two are perpendicular. They are negative reciprocals of each other. So c is also perpendicular to d. Okay, and that would be, that would be our answer for these guys. Have a great day everyone, and I hope this helped out. Also, make sure you watch those other videos if this, especially this last question, was confusing. Make sure you watch the other videos that I have. I'll try and include some links uh, while I'm talking right now. In fact, I should talk a little longer just to make sure I don't overlap what you've already done. I will stop. Have a great day. Take care, everyone.